When you take a step back sometimes, it is shocking how many brawlers we have in this game. 78 now, closing in on 100, dude. But another thing that we have in abundance from our brawlers is brawlers that have their face covered or articles of clothing that cover up a portion of their characteristics. That's right, people. We're talking about brawler face reveals. <laughs> This has kind of turned into a meme a little bit here on the channel, even though we've only done it twice now. But it's kind of turned out to be somewhat of an interesting topic, right? These brawlers that we play every single day, what could they possibly look like if they are wearing a mask or articles of clothing, much like El Primo's mask? Well, today we are going to be trying to answer that question with an updated version of brawler face reveals now that we have 78. A lot has changed since our last face reveal video over a year ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we uncover here today. Starting off in order with the very first brawler on the list being Nita here. Now we're getting a little bit of a twofer here, getting Leon and Nita's face reveal. Definitely a newer addition to the list since our last face reveal video for these brawlers. We have Leon's face and Nita's thanks to the Star Park CCTV debacle that happened some time ago. There were some other face reveals for these brawlers that we've discussed in previous videos, but now that we have the creme de la creme coming from the source Supercell themselves, we see what Leon and Nita look like. Pretty dang cool. Next on our list of a brawler that has some sort of article of clothing covering their face, we have El Primo, one of the coolest face reveals in my opinion. This one has so much lore to it. I mean, we have a masked wrestler in the game. Everyone wants to know what this guy looks like, and we even got teased a little bit from a brawl talk in the past where they showed El Primo with his mask off, but blurred out, right? But probably my absolute favorite rendition of Primo's face reveal was made a very long time ago from Brawl Land. I would say this depicts Primo in my mind, what he would look like underneath his mask, right? It just makes so much sense and fits his character so well. What do you guys think? I think this is perfectly Primo. Next up on our list, we have Poco, a very interesting one, seeing that he doesn't really have like a mask or anything. He's just Poco. That's the way he is. He's like a ghost spirit character. But people question as to what he might look like and recent developments, we literally kind of do know what he looks like, right? We got the CCTV Poco version, but thanks again also to the CCTV, we have glimpses as to what Poco might have looked like before, like the face paint and anything happened to him because of the gem's influence on him, looking very young and kiddish, you know what I mean? Pretty dang cool seeing Poco and what he looked like before everything went down with his face, right? Moving along to our next one, I would consider this to be a little meme here in this episode. So, dude, Dynamite, you ever think what it would be like with Dynamite not having his facial hair? A beard. Well, we have a face reveal for Dynamite as well, as strange as that sounds. There was a post made from Brawl Stars some time ago promoting like some sort of Marvel universe within Brawl Stars. We had some characters here that are far different what they are inside of Brawl Stars, Colt being a girl, El Primo being a machine, right? But we can also see a like younger version of Dynamite without a beard. Isn't that cursed? It looks so strange. I mean, Angel Mortis is even more cursed, are you kidding me? <laughs> Pretty dang cool. Next up, moving on down the list of super rares, we have our next face reveal, and that is Jackie. This version of Jackie. <laughs> Well, face revealed. This one has always really made me feel strange, if you ask me. It's just like so off, you know? You get so used to seeing Jackie with that helmet and the glasses that you fail to realize even sometimes that she has like this dark bluish hair, you know what I mean? It's so bizarre. This is Jackie without a helmet, and I really think it does a good job as to what she would look like without the helmet, right? I think it's perfect. Moving along, moving along. Unfortunately, there are some here that have things covered up, much like Bo, but I just don't have like a good rendition of what Bo would be like, seeing that most of this is just like fan made and fan generated. So what do you guys think Bo would look like without a hat? We can kind of see it, right? He just has white eyes. But based on his profile picture, it looks like he's wearing a mask or his hat covers up his eyes quite a bit. So hey, maybe we need some renditions of Bo without a mask. But our next face reveal comes with B here. This one's kind of straightforward, right? We can kind of envision what B might look like without her helmet, right? We can see her hair color and everything, but we don't have to wonder thanks to the Brawl Stars dev team once again, advertising another movie that came out. I think it was like Ant-Man or something like that, but we got B here without her helmet. Thanks again to the Brawl Stars dev team. Looks pretty good. Moving along to our next face reveal and believe it or not, it's going to be Griff. You know, there are fun theories that Griff isn't like a mechanical brawler or a machine or anything like that, but he's actually a human underneath a a crazy mask, right? We can see skin back there by his neck and poking through a glove, we can see a human finger. So what would Griff look like? 
Thanks to this individual here over on Reddit, we don't have to wonder. And I've always thought this is so dang cursed. I don't know if it's the art or just, you know, Griff and how he looks, but yeah, here's a rendition of what Griff might look like. I think it kind of makes sense. I would go with blonde hair. I think that at least is resonating with me. Someone with blonde hair. What do you guys think? I don't know. Our next one is also not that crazy hard to envision, seeing that it's pretty dang frequent that we see his face, but we have Grom, someone who tends to hide his face from us. But as you guys probably remember, during a brawl talk, I believe it was, there was an animation showing kind of like a lore backstory for Grom and his hatred for children. Believe it or not, he had some PTSD going on, but we can see Grom's face clear as day here without the hood. Moving on, moving on. Next, we have Belle, a character that I feel like wouldn't really require a face reveal, but in almost all of her skins, I should say all of her skins, she has something covering up her eyes. Whether that's a monocle here on the gold hand bell skin or just straight up glasses. <laughs> I have, I've always loved this one. It's so weird. I don't like randoms here over on Reddit posting their rendition. I don't know if they made it or anything like that, but isn't that cursed, dude? It looks so bizarre. Believe it or not, if you match this up with Belle's profile picture that has her glasses, it's literally one for one. That's what her face looks like, the winking and everything. It just looks so strange without the glasses. Moving on to a newcomer for these types of videos here on the channel, at least we have Ash here. Have you ever thought of what Ash might look like underneath that trash can? There's tons of speculation and theories that Ash probably isn't human. He might be like a dragon or non-humanoid brawler, seeing that he has like blue hands on his character. But probably my absolute favorite rendition of what Ash might look like can be seen from this artwork. But I love this. This looks so dang perfect, right? Ash is literally a trash bag. He is trash with a face on it. I think it's super, super cool. Hey, we have enough like just generic human brawlers here in the game. Let's get really wacky and cool, right? Just a trash bag. <laughs> I think that's cool. But moving out of the epic rarity into the mythics here, our very first one is going to be for Tara. Coming up on this piece of artwork, believe it or not, there has been a ton of different renditions as to what Tara might look like, right? One of the oldest masked characters in the game. Tons of speculation and intrigue, and I think something like this really matches up. We have some art from X by Ray. One, two, and three are really awesome, unique takes on what she might look like, right? We can really only see an eye. But I've always really liked the renditions for Tara, like number one, where she had this big, grievous wound, you know? Like this crazy scar on her forehead, so she just covers it up. And if a character had the ability to see out of two eyes, why would the character cover up one of the eyes, right? So it's a fun theory that maybe there's been some damage to the eye that's covered up. I really, really like the ideas that come for Tara. Tara face reveals. And yeah, I really, really like these. But moving along, we have Max here, right? A lot of her face is covered up. We can see her eyes and stuff like that, but in every single skin that she has, we don't really know her hair color. This one has been one that's been going around inside the community for quite some time from Brawl Land once again. I think it makes quite a bit of sense, right? We have blonde hair there for Max in the face without the helmet. But another one that I think makes a lot of sense that I haven't covered here in a face reveal video, we have this user here on their take as to what Max might look like with a different color hair. I think it makes a little bit of a sense. What do you guys think? Probably my personal favorite. <laughs> this one is ridiculous. Guys, did you know that's what Max's profile was before they changed it? It was so derpy, right? Just drool and everything. I love this one so much. It's so funny. This is the way that I envision Max almost every single time I play her. That's the Max that is in my head. <laughs> Moving on to our next character and their face reveal, we have Buzz. Now on a lot of his skins and in different animations, we can actually see what his eyes look like. Sometimes when he attacks, his glasses go up and he just has black eyes, right? But probably my favorite rendition for Buzz and what his eyes might look like has come from this user here, Brawland once again. This one, in my opinion, I think makes so much sense, dude. What do you guys think? Buzz with eyes, quite bizarre. But our next brother face reveal is going to be Janet here. A lot of her skins has a helmet, right? The only one that really doesn't is the pop star Janet skin where we can see all of her hair. 
But once again, thanks to the Brawl Stars dev team, we can see Janet without her helmet because she is puking because the wings are too hot, right? No helmet Janet on her base skin. Pretty cool. But then our next one rounding the corner is going to be Buster here without his glasses, his trademark glasses, dude. I ended up coming across this one over here on Reddit by no, 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 no. I know strange names out there on Reddit, but yeah, look at that. I wonder how this was made. It, were, it fits so well that it looks familiar. It's almost like I've seen it before. Buster's face. Has he shown his face before? Maybe it's just like a weird deja vu or something like that, but it just makes so much sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Next up, we have Doug, bro, and it's so cursed, man. <laughs> this one has to be one of the most notorious brawlers that have been released since our last, like, brawler face reveal video that everyone has been speculating, right? Just from the sole fact that everyone is confused whether or not his not nostrils are his eyes. It works as eyes, but it's his nostrils. We have confirmation of this thanks to pins and things like that. As you can see here on his cry pin, the tear is coming from underneath his hat. So those holes are not his eyes. They're his nostrils. <laughs> so then how about this for his face, bro? It's so, it's so cursed, man. Dude, the hat just works. I'm happy he's wearing the hat. <laughs> Dude, it's so freaking funny. This user over here on Reddit. <laughs> Dude, he's got such a strange head. Oh my gosh. Thanks to a post over here on Twitter some time ago, we also saw a little bit of context as to what he might look like without his hat, right? Kind of leaning into the meme itself, the Brawl Stars dev team saying, what makes sense for Doug's eyes? If you tap the screen or pause it, you land on one, it might be it. We got Leon there, dude. Pretty interesting. But at the very least, we can see the shape of his head in this. And there were so many individuals who came up with their own interpretations, much like this one. I think kind of works but then there were like really creepy ones that just kind of go overboard if you ask me this one oh my gosh it's so bizarre oh no oh no oh no keep the hat on keep the hat on bro and believe it or not rounding the corner to our very last brawler face reveal there are of several others relatively newer brawlers that we just don't have good ones for right it's much like chuck without his hat miko cordelius i think could be a really interesting one what the heck do you think cordelius looks like underneath the mask but the one we are ending on is going to be Sandy without his hat or headpiece, hood, whatever you want to call it. This one was made a very long time ago from Develop Arts that I thought made quite a bit of sense as well. We just have a sleepy dude there yawning. I think it makes a lot of sense, right? Just simple and sweet. But there you have it, everyone, an updated version of Brawler face reveals here in Brawl Stars. Again, there are several other Brawlers that we weren't able to talk about, seeing that there aren't really good ones. But hey, maybe we'll be able to come back to this type of video. I wonder what Gale would look like. What does Stu look like? Cordelius is the biggest one for me, man. What is Cordelius? But maybe we'll be able to take a look at that some other day. But yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Kind of a fun, lighthearted one, just memeing out here. But yeah, we'll be talking super soon. Adios, everyone. Take care.